Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to another episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Before we start this episode, let's just wait for the drop on this song. Any second now. Oh, that little guitar, it's such a nice little detail on the song. Or it carries the whole song to be true. truthful. Um, okay, so last episode we achieved quite a lot on the main quest. We, we defeated the first boss of these, I guess, four bosses here on Regional Phenomena. So I guess in this episode we're gonna explore some more. So, so we're gonna wait a bit for... Continuing with the main quests uh, for, for a bit now. Uh, so let me open the map. I know I saw yesterday when I was editing the, the video uh, this shrine here that I didn't think were able to, to access before the boss battle. You could access it before. So I was thinking, let's just... What's happening? Ah, he just spawns here. Tulin's Wow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Nice. It was what I was going to say was. Was that when I was editing this yesterday, I saw this, you see here. This thing, I even looked at it, straight at it, with this, uh, with this scope. But I didn't register. You can shoot on this one, of course you can. We have done shrines with, with that type of activation before. <laughs> it was a bit awkward that I just stood and stared on it, but my brain didn't connect. To my defense, uh, I had worked that day, so I was really tired. <laughs> and it was the first thing I did that episode, so my brain wasn't totally turned on, I guess. Uh, but today I feel better, I'm free from work today, and I have had a good night's sleep, so... Hopefully this will be an impactful episode, even though we don't continue on the main quest for today. His loot just disappeared. Boom. Uh, 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 okay, okay. So this is just bounce like we did on the... yesterday when we climbed up to the storm. Nice little miss. <laughs> that was not good by me. I'm gonna just... Eat the damage instead of trying to save myself and then just eat some real food here. Uh, 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 uh. Why not an acron? And one of those. And I'm wondering where is the like chest? Maybe it's in there. So, so let's continue onwards here and don't fall this time. <laughs> Much more clean. Do I have anything up here? What is that, for for example? That looks like a weapon of some sort. Maybe that's the chest for this shrine. So let's just quickly go and watch that thing. It looks like some type of weapon. No? And what is that? We should try to shoot an arrow on it, I guess. Just to see if something happens. No? It looks really sus for just being there, because it's the only thing with that, right? Yeah, we're gonna shoot this one as well, so we can just do it right now. We don't have to... Oh! I really wonder what that is. 
Like, it's the only one that's exposed like that. Can we, like, uh... Does fire do anything on it? No. I'm gonna try a bomb as well. I don't think it will do anything. Is it something I can... I don't know, man, what that is. Maybe it's nothing. <laughs> if you know what it is, please comment down below so I can uh, backtrack this some other episode if it if it has some uh, some value to it to to use that thing. And that just stands there. And that's the finish of the the shrine. Like, where is the where is the chest? it over here, maybe? Like, hiding in a corner? What happens if I close this? Can I do it even? No, it's one-time use. Let's just check this boat over here also before we leave. It feels like... If there exists a... Chest, it should be somewhere here. Oh well. We don't have to waste the whole episode on searching for one chest. If it's not nothing here as well, no. Ah, I, I will uh, ignore that chest. But please, if you if you know where it is, just leave a comment so so I can backtrack to it. And I haven't really planned anything for this episode, because <laughs> I played uh, the last episode uh, that we that is up now. I played that like right before bed, and now it's the first thing I do when I wake up. Uh, we have a shrine here that we haven't even unlocked, so we should go and do that maybe for, for the beginning here. Just try to clear as much as possible here at the Rito village. Or in the area surrounding Rito village. <laughs> just jump up here so we can quickly just fly over there. It's the easiest... Easiest path to, to reach it. Uh... I want that. Okay. Ah, it's there. Yeah, I see it. So here it's still snowy, but the snow has ended in Rito Village. Give me some speed. And also I want to continue up, because there was where we found the uh, Tulin, like after we went through that cave. But we have a road up here, so I'm gonna also explore that before we're done on this, on this little area. Aid from above. This laser should open the, the platform here, so we don't want to do that. This is a bit, <clears throat> bit of parkour, I guess. Is oh, is that something we can move? No. Why is it just standing there? Nice. 
that's the finish, huh? That's the chest. And how do we unlock the chest? We need to... Yes, we need to maybe... It looks like you could climb up there somehow. Not sure how though. Is this something like I can attach on the walls? No. I can attach them with each other, which is... Obvious, but... <laughs> Let's just backtrack for a bit. Maybe... No. Oh, no, no. Let's just go here and see. Okay, that closes and this moves. Uh, I guess that's easy enough. What happens here? Oh. Okay. <laughs> we needed the things over there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die of that. But how do we unlock the the shrine? Uh, the the what happens if I just run straight to it? Yeah. Okay, but I should be able to to stand there still. Let me just quickly eat something. Also, if we, like, line up, so we're near here. Ah. Maybe it's not possible. Let's just try to be directly at the laser. Yeah, this will work. <laughs> That's a bit cheaty. But now everything is open again. Let's backtrack again. Can we use those to climb up something else over here? sure how, how this is supposed to open. Well, let's just attach these two to, to, to each other. So we can't even climb this. That's weird. This will not help us in any way. Ah! Huh? Something happened. Okay, okay. I understand. <laughs> what was that jump? I had no speed. We don't take damage on the laser also, so we can just run like this. It was a total accident, but ni a, li a nice little accident. Cold resistance, not something I really need, because we have the full armor for cold resistance. It's good enough, I guess. <laughs> Let's just eat this uh, nasty food. And one of those. But it's, it feels wrong to leave a shrine without getting the chest. It hurts in my in my soul. The perf perfectionist. Is that a word even? The perfectist perfectionist in me wants to complete everything in a shrine. Okay. 
Let's just quickly climb this. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> I wasted the food and failed. Either way. Oh well, let's take the more secure route, I guess. We don't have to do that again. Who are you shooting on? Are you, you even saw the enemies before they spawned. That's, that's some great foresighting. Will the steel thingy? No, nice. I was like, is, will the steel make me freeze? But I ha ho don't hold in the steel. I'm holding the tree. Nice. Feels like a Kuroko seed could be on the top of that. And also, they, it feels like they want to make me do a fire here so I can just fly up. We need flint, we need wood, we drop them, and then we hit with a steel weapon, do we have one of those? Yeah, this is, a, we only use this one for, oh my god, that's so bad, uh, we only use this weapon for lighting fires, good that we have over 30 of these flints. Thank you. Then we want to change weapon quickly. And then this. That makes us come to the top. Oh. Oh. I don't want the gust. God. That's a bit of a fail again. <laughs> Boom. Oh, so he's quickly up to the top here. Oh, it was nothing. So, because the the A button appeared there, but it was just for climbing down. So, I guess it's nothing there. Let's also clear this camp. didn't wake up. Let's just wake them up with a big boom in the middle of them. Oh my god, that was <laughs> that was not in the middle. Okay, let's just quickly win kill them. Boom. Boom. Not even a headshot. Okay, you should probably die before I go in on this. Nice. But my weapon is soon broke here. We will actually drop it, take this traveler sword, and then just drop some type of attack power so we can put it on there instead. These ones are pretty nice. Yeah, that's nice. Nice with a big, big meat. Ah, oh, it was just a regular steak. It looked so much bigger. That's a decent bow, I guess. Now that the other broke also, so... It's good. One bow breaks, we get another one. A wild berry. Fruit grown in cold, uh, you can use it. No special effects, but it's good for cooking, okay. Mm, 
Was it anything else here? A dude is there. Let's jump down to him. See if he has something fun to say. Ah, look. Oh, I don't want your gust. Sorry. I want to talk to this dude. What a disaster. I came all this way to scourge uh, mushrooms and now this. I'll never get to the deep parts of the cave with, with a messed up wing. Shield shrooms grow all over this cave, so I figured it'd be a prime spot for scavenging a little food. But cold water has built up in there now, and I can't pick any shield shrooms without crossing it. Ordinarily, my wings would take me right over a little pond like that, uh, like mm. this. But I hurt my wing in a small scrap with monsters. Uh, I don't see how I can fly over the pond in this condition. The worst part is, I was just bragging to the folks in the village that I bring back even more shield shrooms than last mm. time. If I... If I don't come back with at least 10 of them, there will be egg on my face. I have more than 10, I guess, so here you go. Oh, you really don't mind me giving me this whole heap of mushrooms? Seems like you must have gone to a lot of trouble collecting this many. But if you're sure, then thanks a bunch. I can't just take them for free, though. Here, why don't I give you this? Nice. Now I can make uh, good on all my big talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be our secret that, that you didn't collect them. You, you got them from me. You know, this isn't the only cave in this mountain with pools of freezing water. Be careful when you explore. I will be careful. And let's also explore this cave. But here you had shield rooms without crossing the water, dude. <laughs> Could have gotten three, three more for free here. Is the water so cold I can't swim in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, I see. I, I I, just wanted to try it if it was. I need to cook some also. I will do that between this episode and next one probably. If, if we don't run out during this episode, then I have to cook some also. <laughs> if we rewind this, will it come back? No. Do we reach it? No. Okay. We don't even need the boat. We can just build a fire as we did earlier. So... Five. That's the most used. We wanna... Those we don't wanna drop because those we're gonna use... We're gonna throw it on the fire. So we need the flint and the wood. Wood. And then my bun is the flint. Boom. Oh. Decrease. And done. And drop. Oh my god. And they stop like rolling away from each other. That's better. Use our. <laughs> what do you, should you call it? Like. Uh... Lighter, like a lighter for your cigarette, but for our... That's all we use it for. Okay. Ignore what I'm talking. I'm just rambling at this point. And bump, and bump. I'm so slow at building those. And then we just gust ourselves over here to collect all these shrooms. Like, he could have gotten those shrooms for free, because I was gonna scavenge this either way. This counts as iron as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, now no, it burns. That's not good. And we don't <laughs> want to take that out so it melts. Uh, and use this. And then we should throw another. Another pine cone. Maybe that was a bit 
We don't even have to climb up, we can just teleport. I'm not sure. I'm not thinking here. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. So what should we do here next? Because now I guess it's a lot of shrines up here that where we haven't been. We have been here, but up in there. Uh, the thing is, I'm not gonna shrine hunt before we get the... Uh, from before we get from this to the upgrade so we can hear shrines when we're near them. So maybe that's the plan for this episode to go there and talk to him about that. <clears throat> what is this? If you meet her there, you may be able to get a clue. Ta, Impa and the geoglyphs. You serene him and that he's gonna... Kado told that Impa is traveling Hyrule to see the so-called geoglyphs that have... Oh, maybe we should explore the geoglyphs. And who is Impa? I don't have learned about her. I know I remember the name, or I recognize the name from, from last game, I think. Crisis, and then those. And then we have some side adventures, I guess, also. Yeah, but they are more, they are more like long term. And then we have, here we have also so, some quests, but they are also <laughs> more long, long term. Okay, let's do the Impa quest line, just to get somewhere, get some, uh, we don't have to finish it, but it can be good to, to start it, just to get a sense of other things we can explore them. Now we should take out our horse also, just so we have it with us if we need to travel long long ways. But before that, just go here and talk, because I'm not sure if we even... Where we're going after this. The quest will probably tell us. I remember her, I think. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. Impa, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relie relief to see you back and in one piece, more or less. Mm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? She's gone. Oh. What? She still has yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. Is it these, like, alien U U UFO <laughs> type things in the grass? Uh, during the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. We're calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in location across the kingdom. Kado and I are traveling from regions, region to region in hope of seeing them all. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examine it, examining it up close, I could not make off Make out what it's the piece, what it was like picturing, because I can't say that word. <laughs> I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air in I, I took to the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then alas, a wind struck and completely sheared the balloon of the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts, but to no avail. Let me help you then, hopefully. So that's one piece. And that's a shroom. Okay, this is just easy peasy, I guess. Ooh. Oh. Attach, and then we just need a fire there. So I guess the, the easiest way for us is just to not throw that, throw the last one of our fire fruits. Then we need to collect some more of those because they are they are really nice. Oh, now it's leaving. Gonna talk to you quickly. Here. Oh, you fixed my balloon link. Thank you. Will you come with me and look at the geoglyphs then? Sure thing. Time to head out then. Ah, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Oh my god. Now oh, you're leaving without me. <laughs> Oh, 
Link, Link, where did you disappear? I thought you wanted me to turn it on beforehand. Okay, they delighted that for me at least. Well, that was dangerous. Shall we try it again from start? Sure, sure, sure. And I don't really want to drop any weapon. So what do I... Yes, I have to drop a weapon, so let me drop... But this one also f shoots fire. That's correct. Let's just... Do it like that. Are you coming with me now? No? <laughs> the hell? Huh? Hey, come back, you forgot me. Dude, I tried to talk to you, but you want, didn't want to talk to me. This is a bit awkward that yeah. <laughs> this easy quest is. All I need is a clear view from the geoglyph. Try to move us straight upward without the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you go into here? Do I really have to... Like, what's the problem here? Now I can talk to you. Mm. I just needed to wait for a bit. Yes! Oh. Let's hop on board. I understand. I have already done it twice. Sorry if you, I burned you as well. Okay, this looks like a son Sonai. Those uh, oh. ancient peoples. Too high up, I feel faint. But finally we can see the geoglyphs. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village olds literature, a passage about what the ancients called dragon tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. Oh. I believe this geoglyph glyph is one such image, but even from this vantage, its meaning is no clear for me. It looks like those uh, Sony eyes. Nor can I figure out what Dragon's Tears means. That should be those uh, nine looking things that we got from defeating last boss. Uh, that Tooling got on his feet. Um, but you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, near the geoglyphs, or even within its oh. borders. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yeah. If you would like to examine the geoglyphs from ground level, you can float down with a pyroglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. Are you sure? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, I believe the geoglyph is one of those M images, but even from the dungeon, mean no meaning. Dragon tears might be. I just want to read this quickly again. Uh, one of them should be quite near, near the geoglyphs, or even within its borders. So it should be a dragon tear somewhere here. I'm not sure what a dragon... You have some tears laid out, so I guess the, dra the dragon tear will be on some... I guess that's look a bit sussy. Oh my god. I forgot that you can't delete after you put a pin down with the same. So let's just go to that one first. And then we have something sussy over here. That's just a stone, so that's probably a... A Koroko seed of some sort. Yeah. a memory, maybe? Ooh. 
What? Oh, oh dear. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule. Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Uh, but that must mean... She has traveled back in time. Which we already have figured out, I guess, from killing the first boss. I think if you had like followed the main quest, this is something you would have done before going to Rito Village. <laughs> but uh, that's the thing with open games, uh, open world games. Sometimes you miss small things. But that's a good memory to unlock. Nice. So we're gonna find memories at these hieroglyphs. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? Godness, you say you had a vision, some mysterious figures, and then Princess Zelda. Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tear, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may continue further clues that lead us to Princess Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. There is something... Uh, the Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Okay. So now we have where we're going next on the main quest, I guess. So we're gonna go there as well. But first I'm gonna take that Kuroko seed before I forget. And then we're gonna go and fetch our horse. This is such a Kuroko seed. <laughs> the most Kuroko seed, Kuroko seed ever. Now we're one away from 23, which is nice. And that's also something I wanna do not too late in this game. It's to find the, the big gig dude again and give him his Kuroko seed so we can unlock even more uh, slots for our weapons and shields and bows. And here I'm wondering, is it worth it? To, are there, our horses even there? Uh, let's just quick travel. I remember stone enemies will wake up here, or they can do that at least, if I'm close enough. Where are you, Johnny? You're standing over there. You have been a good boy, you have been standing here for... ...probably over a week, for how long we were away with, with all the... on the last episode and everything, and the episode before that. What is this? It's just a cave with an entrance, nice. Always fun to explore. Mm -mm -mm. 
That's good, because we also need to refill our bombs. So that we find some of these is always nice. I don't need a glowing fish. Oh, I could have took it, take it, but I was too slow. This is a big game. One sticky lizard. So hard to travel. They are really good later in the game. <laughs> Something we also need to refill on is uh, aimbot eyes, because I used them all on the boss fight. spiked all is soon destroyed i want to climb this also because it feels like it should be probably gonna be something of value up there it was not and if you think these are valuable <laughs> they are i guess but we have like 200 of them literally <laughs> oh that's a Bad aim. That's even bit worse. I was close, but not quite enough. I wanted to hit that before it ran away. Then it's not the smartest to use a two-handed weapon, I guess. That's why it's really slow on hitting. I guess that's everything. This is a deep cave. And we're... Are we? And we're... Call our horse. Think it hurt us? Yeah. I will ignore you. Oh, dude. <laughs> You're going <laughs> not the way I want. Okay, let's... We're off. Got a bit sidetracked on that cave, but it was it was good to clear it. Over there we have a shrine. Way way out in the distance. And I guess it's the best way to go here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he has the fire fruits. I need them. Thank you. Get our horse to come down as well. Oh my god. <laughs> you ran past me, dude. So let's explore this on our way. Yeah. Stay there for now. Oh. Yes, this gonna break by doing this. Yeah. Now it's still. Hmm. That's great to find. Okay, they are pretty easy if you just freeze them. Then you need something to hit them with also. Uh, 
I'm not sure if this is... It's wide enough, but I'm not gonna... He needs to come down a bit. Let's just unfreeze him by damaging. Oh! We just needed to hit him. That's good to know. Nice. But we want to do some type of... Uh, Blunty weapon next year. I will probably destroy this fuse because it's it's fun, but it's not really useful. Is it any stones here? We'll probably have something we could use. I guess this. Is that something we can destroy them with? Looks like it at least. a lot of valuable stones. No, don't break already. Um, there was no good life on that one. Uh, I guess we drop one more. I guess this can be the story. Feels like it must you must have some other purpose with this big ravine than only a well. I know it's a lot of boxes that you can destroy. Should we fight these? I'm on a mood for fighting, so I think we're gonna do that. Let's start with bringing out a high damage bow with a bomb. And let's do it on the small guys. So I think that's a one shot. Oh, that's a bad. <laughs> Um, this is playing game on the easy mode when you have this bow. But it's actually quite nice. We got a lot of got a lot of loot, I guess. A red choo choo jelly. Nice. A lot of food at least. Bad weapons. I don't want. Maybe if some of them have a thick stick. But that sword is nice, because that we can build with some stone or something to have a, a little more, more ro robust. Ah, oh, it had stone on it already. We have one slot left. Let's just... I'm not sure why there are so many steel boxes here. You can do a big one and then attach. And then we drop everything here. They're all like empty. I'm not gonna destroy everything for maybe something has some type of loot in. Okay, here we actually had 
two arrows. Yeah, that's not worth it. Can you get your ass over here? Thank you. Still need a new horse. This Yanni dude is way too... ...too angry all the time. These plushies, yeah. Which way to the school? Huh, this is not the way to Hatena village. I can't get lost now. Not after spending all this time with Gerudo Dollmaker, learning to make sand seal plushies. I refuse to give up on my dream of handing this out to school kids. I can't wait to see their face light up when I give them these stuffed toys. Hope I can remember not to glare at them. Oh, I know, I should practice my routine so I can hand out the toys with a smile. Hi kids, I'm the sand sea lady. Hmm, not much this has to it. Uh, how about this? Hello kitties, it's nice to see ya. Everyone's sailing good? Oof, fake it till you make it I guess. But I, but it'd be worth seeing those kids beaming with joy. What are you doing? Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> You startled me. Give a gal some warning next time. Why is everybody so easily scared in, the, in this uh, world? Ah, oh, my toys. I worked so hard to make 10 of them and now this. How am I supposed to get them all? You can just go and collect them, but I, of course I was the one scaring you, so I will... Well, and you're gonna pay me for helping you? It was my, my fault. You, you should just demand me doing it for free. Oh, and you gotta be careful loading the toys. They tend to fall out if they're not all the way in. Okay. Oh. I want to get moving, so make this quick. Uh, hold on a second. You're not thinking of pocketing any of my seals, I hope. These are handmade for children. I said I pay you if you bring them back, but this is kind of your fault, so... Mind giving me a 20 rupee de deposit? Uh, you get it back once you're done, sure. Ah. That makes you feel more confident? Take my money. Oh. There are 10 stuffed toys I need to get her up for me. Be sure to load them on the cart nice and gentle. They fall right off again if they're hanging out on the side. Now hop to it. Will this go on time also? I'm feeling like, aren't you... You all... You need to collect them either way, so who cares if they're... If it's on time or not. Uh, not the best start. They're super big as well, how... Ah! Oh, I'm stupid, just attach everything together. And this is... this is how they... Oh, we don't need a stone. How many do we have now? Six. Here is three. Four. I see the last one also, but I can't aim. Oh, come on. We don't have a lot of time left now. And attach. Nice. No way, you're done picking them all up. That was fast. Nice work. I didn't think you managed to load them up all up in so short of a time. So yeah, here's your pay. Your deposit is included. Thank you for the pay, <laughs> I guess. I'll get this smiling thing down eventually, I'll hope. Anyway, I clearly need more practice at it. So leave me alone, would you? Of course. Sorry for uh, disturbing your peace. Personal space. <laughs> These shrooms are nice to make some stamina potions out of. I want to collect them all. I saw also one over here. If I remember correctly. Yeah. 
And the horsey. He went far away for some reason. Can you get your... You see this horse, is, it, he has a lot of temper. He's, he's super slow and doesn't listen to me. Ooh. I'm never gonna hit that. That's a nice little ass assassination. <laughs> they didn't even see it coming. Now we need to... Oh, nice. We can just run up here. It was like a drive-by. And is this horse any good? Oh, it's so bad. I like having a companion with me now. <laughs> Go through shrine. We're approaching one hour mark now, so maybe... We do this shrine and then we finish the episode. And then for the next episode we're gonna... We're gonna go and check that ruins out where Impa is, if that was the name. Fire and ice. As we start, we need to make it smaller in the fire so we can open it up. That's pretty logical. Not too small though. And my depth per perception went away a bit haywire there. There is the chest. What happens if I do this? Nothing. Take it for now. And this is a bit scuffed. Is the thinking like this should fly here? No. I should fly here. Yes. Okay. Start with just blocking this fire. Not sure what this why we want this. I guess it has some some use. And I think we want this as well. This should block the fire the other fire and then we can get the um, Okay, I understand. You need the ice for this one to ride on. Oh. Let's move it out of the fire. Move this. Can we attach those? Yeah, we can. Nice. And then it will glide. And I hope it won't fall. Oh my god. 
Yeah, it worked. I guess we can take this one that's already done. <gasps> and we're done with the shrine. This will be everything we had time for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please consider liking this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.